Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and fine. I am Tejani Drumilasokbhai, a student of Conestoga College, Canada. I am currently studying into project management program and today in my YouTube video, I am going to provide an overview and demonstration of a software, which is Zoosprints. Zoosprints is a cloud-based project management tool that helps agile team to build products and deliver their projects at a faster ways. Zoosprints is a simple planning and tracking tool built exclusively for teams that believe in agility and to deliver projects with strict deadlines. In this video, we will cover the basics first and then dive straight into the features that make Zoosprints a go-to solution for managing agile projects from the initial beginning phase to the successful completion of a project. Zoosprints cover all making it an efficient tool to support businesses of various scales with over six years of presence in the market. Zoosprints has assisted many companies that build successful projects sprint by sprint with its user-friendly interface, customizable features, and diverse collaboration. Zoosprints stands out as the most comprehensive and convenient project management solution for the agile teams. So without further ado, let's jump into the Zoosprints software screen. So first of all, you need to open the setting. To do that, click on the top right corner to open the setting and navigate to the workplace setting. In this page, you can easily edit your workplace name, workplace owner, time zone and web addresses. From work hour pages, work hour pages helps you to adjust your team's working hours, also to set the days off and list out all the holidays for your team. From the general page, you can enable strict scrum. Now what is strict scrum? Strict scrum puts a restriction to your sprint where the sprint cannot exceed a duration of eight weeks and also no new work item can be added or existing item can be deleted from an active sprint. Now we can also enable multiple sprints in a workplace. For that you can enable multiple sprints as well from this page. Now that your workplace is set up, once again go into the setting and redirect to the manage users. Under the manage user, click on workplace users. Now click on user icon. Top right, click on user item, item button, which is displayed on the top right corner. And enter the user details like email address. You can also choose a user role and add a user for the new member. Now click on the associate project to associate user. To the multiple projects or else, you can simply go ahead and edit the user directly into the workplace. A role signifies a title or designation held by a person in an organization while a profile denotes a set of privileges or permission granted to a user to operate in the workplace. Let's understand this difference much better with an example. For example, David is a technical consultant at a firm who is assigned with the two projects. Now, in one project, he functions with the authority and responsibility for a technical consultant which reflects his role whereas in project B, he is assigned the authority and responsibility of a project manager. Now if you notice, even though David's profile differs between both the project, his role remains the same as that of technical consultant. This means in project A, David has assigned the role of a technical consultant and the profile he is assigned is that of a technical consultant as well. In the project B, he holds as a role of technical consultant and the profile of a project manager. Zoosprints offer a default role and responsibilities. You can always go ahead and add a new roles and profiles to align with your team. To do that, go ahead and redirect to the manage user. Under the manage user, click on the roles. From this page, you can add a new role, add a name, add a description, select a type and assign user to the role and then click on create. Similarly, you can go ahead and customize the priority under the project setting, customize the click on the customize priority. And workflow status is of work item in a project. To do that, click on custom priority, which we have already done under the project settings. You can also customize the item type and customize status of work item in a project. 
now that your uh, workplace is almost uh, set up your team is on board let's head to the project dashboard to create a project to do that uh, come on the home page of the zoho sprints and uh, click on the top right corner to open the project to do that add a description choose a template in the project layout to select the start and end date of a project and click on create layout a layout is a set of specific fields put together to cater different types of projects in simple terms a layout is a set of customizable fields that displays while creating a project work item and a template on the other end is a uh, on the other end template is a pre-configured project that can save teams from repetitive work on project so after doing this we can simply click on the create and uh, start working on the project uh, that's it for today's video i hope you find this video info helpful and informative thank you everyone for watching this video